some people are so creepy somebody asked me have you had any kiss in the date if then paste a pic beside that to tumko kyu photo dikhaogi yaar i'm wearing a t-shirt that says love i'm wearing earrings that say love and here is my single ass sitting on valentines day eating ice cream and answering relationship questions for you all Hi what's up you guys happy valentines day if you're watching this on valentines day happy valentines day i love you all so 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 much you all are my valentines this year which is why for today's video i'm just sitting down and chilling with you all we have a bunch of ice cream right here i ordered like a bunch of ice cream sometime back all of this is from this brand called noto it's not sponsored by them but i wanted to try the ice creams out cuz i have been seeing a lot of instagram ads about them and i asked you all to ask me some relationship questions you all had for me and oh my god did you all have questions There are such interesting questions. So many things, not just about my relationships, but also about relationships and dating in general. So I'm super excited to answer all of them for you all. Go grab your ice cream, grab your snack. If you've not hit the subscribe button, then also join the Sarah Squad by hitting the subscribe button. That will be the Valentine's gift you all give me this year. Just join my Sarah Squad and also click the bell icon right next to it, so that every time I upload a video, you get notified. And with that, let's dive straight into this. The first one I'm gonna have is salted caramel. This is my favorite flavor in ice cream. so i have to call this one it says not for sharing yeah it's a quite a small tub and it's not for sharing not like i have anybody to share this with mm dude so it's really rich and creamy ah huh? <laughs> but just looking at me from there the wrong video to be doing at night ud gaya hai wo abhi mera bachcha he loves ice cream dude he loves ice cream i need to give him some so lot of uh, questions like aapko aaj tak kitne logon ne propose kiya hai school time se abhi tak kitne boyfriend reh chuke hai how many boyfriends all of that so i think if you're like new year you would not know but i've only had one relationship ek hi like relationship raha hai so in dating i always see dating as डेट कर रहे हो तुम एक दूसरे को जान रहे हो दैट फेज इज देर जहां तुम बाहर जाते हो यूर टॉकिंग टू ईच अदर मैसेजिंग ईच अदर एंड ऑल वो तुम्हारा डेटिंग फेज है रिलेशनशिप इज लाइक फुल ब्लोन लाइक हाँ तुम इसके साथ ही हो यूर मेड इट ऑफिशियल इवन इफ यू नॉट मेड इट ऑफिशियल बट लाइक योर यू नो इन योर हेड कि हाँ यही बंदा है इसके साथ ही रहना है मुझे लाइक यू नो वैसा वाला तो वो रिलेशनशिप होता है तो वो मेरा एक ही राय लाइक एक बंदे के साथ लगा था हाँ ठीक है यही है मतलब यू नो वैसा वाला फीलिंग आया है मुझे बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट नेवर रिली फेल दैट वे अबाउट एनी वन Never really dated a guy and been like solid के हाँ ये ही बंदा है इसके साथ ही रहूंगी types. Indian celebrity or YouTuber you would love to have a date romantic with. I would love to go on a date with. Gosh, what is his name? Oh my God, I forgot. I'm so bad with names. What is that guy's name? Yeah, from Uri. Oh my God, I, I want to go on a date with him and I don't know his name. Wow, Sara, wow. Vishnu Kaushal. Vishnu one the name is Kaushal is a surname that much i know Vicky Kaushal Vicky Kaushal oh my god i would love to go on a date with him not like he's going to take me on a date after seeing that i don't even remember his name i'm very bad with names you guys i don't remember names for the life of me would you ever date a boy just because you don't want to be single anymore no i would not i've gone Yours and yours and yours a single girl and I love my single life. I love how I'm in control of everything in my single life and even if there's a partner coming into the picture, if he's adding to my life, I love it. But I would not just just date because मुझे partner की जरूरत है. I never feel like I just need someone to be with. What was your age when you first dated anyone? The first time I went on a date, I was twelve years old. Twelve, right? Twelve or eleven? I was very young, but I didn't even know I was going on a date. If you've seen my last video, I spoke about my dating fails, and you will know how I felt when I was on my first date. Have you ever double dated anyone or gotten cheated on? No, I have not. I think that is where I really like draw the boundary and draw the line. Uh, I have serious trust issues, which is why I don't get into relationships very openly. मतलब दूर ही रहो तो ठीक है, but you get into a relationship with me and then you cheat on me is my worst fear come to life, which is why I'm very hesitant to get into relationships. So not gotten cheated on, touch wood, alhamdulillah. And no, never double dated because if of course I can't handle that behavior, I will not do that to somebody else. Mm, this ice cream is so good. Ever regretted any relationship? No. Everybody who comes into your life teaches you something or the other. Of course, when it breaks up, you feel like the worst thing in the world and. बहुत बुरा लगता है एंड यू नो इट रियली टेक्स एवरीथिंग अवे फ्रॉम यू एंड रियली टेक्स अ लॉर्ड आउट ऑफ यू लाइक वेन आई गॉट आउट ऑफ माई रिलेशनशिप आई वॉज फीलिंग सो ड्रेन्ड लाइक मैंने कितना एनर्जी डाला था उस रिलेशनशिप को सस्टेन करने के लिए एंड आई फेल्ट लाइक वाई वॉज इट रियली वर्थ इट 
But now that I look back, I learned so much about myself. Now I know before going into a relationship, this is what I'm looking for from that guy. So I will be very clear about my boundaries, my perspectives, my guards will be up before I'm very sure of that person and stuff like that. So I've learned so much from my relationship, right? So I don't regret it. Have you ever faced a severe heartbreak? So my relationship ka breakup jo tha na, wo mutual tha. But uske baad, like both sides pe itna miscommunication hoye ja raha tha. Jo same reason ke liye humne breakup kiya tha, that went on for so Like I think, yeah, my heart was truly broken that time. I don't, I don't feel very heartbroken. It was not his intention to make me feel that way. Yeah, usne sa kuch kiya nahi tha. It was just the miscommunication and the th fact that things were not working out was breaking me from inside. Like I was like honestly shattered. Okay, I'm just gonna eat my skin. Do you believe in love at first sight? No, I don't. I don't believe in love at first sight. I believe it happens in movies. I mean, see, so my life, jo chalta hai, it's great. Ab tak mere saath to hua nahi hai. See, every ice cream has something different written on it. If at first you don't succeed, take a nap and then have some ice cream. Legit what I do with my life, dude. Oh, I love this one. I love this one. This is mocha choco chip and if you like dark chocolate, mm, you're gonna love it. Mm, I'm gonna drown my worries. Like if your guy ever cheats on you, will you be able to forgive him? I honestly feel like I would. Even though I am so strong on the fact that no cheating and you know don't like that is where I draw the boundary and draw the line because at this point in life now you guys I have seen a lot of shit okay like as you grow you see a lot of shit you see your friends uh, relationships evolve even if I have not had relationships I've seen my friends' relationships evolve and not just my girlfriends my guy friends as well and I know from where both parties come and what transpires in between and kya kya hota hai to even though cheating is not acceptable to me and I will never do it. But I think one time forgiveness I will still apply because at the end of the day you're human and mistakes do happen and I know they are terrible and I've seen how bad the relationship gets because of things like this. But if you are truly truly ready to work on a relationship, if you're truly still feel that you are in love with me and it was just a slip and if it was just one mistake and you're sure it's gonna be that one mistake only if I feel that banda sachi mein genuine hai, he still loves me he still has it in him to make this work then I will forgive him right you can't like give up on something you've worked on for so long if it's pretty early on in the relationship like in the beginning only in one or two months or for one, one year also in fact that you've cheated on me I'll be like bye good night see you never you know like that but if it's a long relationship almost a marriage and then it's happened then of course forgiveness ek bar to banti hai. <laughs> have you ever been attracted to a girl being from a girl's school never never like never been attracted to a girl like aisa nahi hota mujhe ki i look at it and i'm like oh i want to date you type of attracted i look at a girl or a woman and i'd be like oh you're so hot i want to look like you you know vesa wala attraction hota hai mujhe what are considered as red flags in a relationship and how to know it i think red flags are anything where you know ke you know wo tumhare sath nahi hona chahiye but wo fir bhi ho raha hai and you're letting it go because you're so much in love with that person in general there are a lot of things that might come up in conversations jab tum baat kar rahe ho like that person might want totally different things from life like he might not want to have kids might not want to settle uh, down might not want to get married or might want to get married and that's not in alignment tumko kabhi shaadi nahi karni usko karni hai like bahut sari cheeze starting se conversations ho rahe honge yeah you know the way he behaves around other girls like always have a look at the way he's around other girls the way he talks about other girls in other contexts like sometimes he look at an image of a girl on social media and like very objectively objectify her like you know लाइक like, तुमको अच्छा नहीं लगे वो कैसा बात कर रहा है लड़कियों के बारे में तो तुम सोच लो यही बंदा तुम्हारे बारे में अपने फ्रेंड्स को भी ऐसी बात करता होगा यू नो तो लाइक दिस स्मॉल स्मॉल थिंग्स पिक अप ऑन बिकॉज दीज आर द रेड फ्लैग और ऑल्सो नोटिस हाउ ही ट्रीट्स अदर पीपल हु आर ऑफ अ लोअर वर्किंग क्लास देन हिम लाइक वेटर्स और योर हाउस हेल्प और एनी बडी लाइक दैट हाउ डज ही ट्रीट दैम लाइक डज ही ट्रीट दैम एज इक्वल्स और डज ही ट्रीट दैम लाइक ट्रैश बिकॉज योर पेइंग दैम यू नो बिकॉज दैट काइंड ऑफ रिस्पेक्ट इज समथिंग दैट यू हैव टू मेंटेन इन लाइफ तुमको नहीं मालूम आगे जाके तुम क्या फाइनेंशियल स्टेटस पे हो गए राइट तो यू शुड ऑलवेज हैव अ गाय हु हैज इमेंस रिस्पेक्ट फॉर अदर्स अराउंड हिम विमेन एंड पीपल हु डोंट बिलोंग टू द सेम सोशियो इकोनॉमिक कैटेगरी ट्रस्ट मी दोज गाइज आर रेयर टू फाइंड बट इफ यू फाइंड दैम 
they are the solid ones if you were dating someone what would be your perfect valentine's date my perfect valentine's date would be my perfect date in general is to go for a nice wine and dine situation have dinner at a nice quiet place uh fine dining sort of okay not doesn't have to be expensive just very calming relaxing nice music playing we could dance if you want to and then netflix and chill <laughs> now what's your plan for marriage love or arranged oh my god you guys itna jaldi i'm only 22 i don't really think of marriage at all like honestly swear to god it's not even on my mind i don't even like i see people get married on my feed and all and yeah girls my age are getting married like people from my school and all are getting married बट मुझे कभी लाइक आई एम हैप्पी फॉर देम बट मुझे कभी ऐसा नहीं लगता कि आई वॉन्ट बी देर लाइक राइट नाउ आई एम नॉट इन दैट फेज ओनली एंड लव और एंड अरेंज आई एम ओके विद एनी थिंग इफ आई एम करेंटली विद सम वन एंड आई फील स्ट्रॉन्गली टूवर्ड्स दैट पर्सन एंड आई नो कि हाँ इसी के साथ सेटल होना है तो लव मैरिज नहीं होना है तो अगर मुझे लगे आई स्टिल नीड अ पार्टनर देन आई विल टेल माई पेरेंट्स गो कम ऑन स्टार्ट लुकिंग एंड अरेंज मैरिज तो ठीक है दो बोथ आर कूल आई एम नॉट हैविंग एनी स्ट्रिक्ट बाउंड्रीज टूवर्ड्स एनी थिंग आई एम कूल विद एनी थिंग एवर रिग्रेटेड ऑन फ्लर्टिंग विद अ गाय एवरी सिंगल डे दैट्स द स्टोरी ऑफ माई लाइफ अन डिड यू एवर हैड एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ रिलेशनशिप विच योर फैमिली वॉज नॉट अवेयर ऑफ I don't think my family is aware of any of my relationships. To be very honest, we have general conversations now because I'm 22 plus and I'm completely like independent and shiz. We have these conversations थोड़ा बहुत generally ऐसा नाम वाम लेके नहीं होते हैं. But yeah, they are never really aware of the person I'm dating. They know that I'm friends with that person, but we don't officially declare it that हाँ I'm dating that person. वो थोड़ा खाली वो एक रिलेशनशिप विच आई हैड वॉज लाइक ऑफिशियल एंड एवरीबडी न्यू अबाउट इट बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वो थोड़ा लाइक रहता ही है यू नो दैट दे नो बट दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू नो आई नो बट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टेल वॉट डू आई थिंक अबाउट अ लिव इन रिलेशनशिप एंड ऑल्सो सो मच लव टू मी आई लव यू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर लिविंग दिस क्वेश्चन एंड वॉट आई थिंक अबाउट अ लिव इन इज परफेक्ट आई थिंक इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई ऑनेस्टली फील लाइक इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन टूडेज टाइम कि रह के देख लो कि जम रही है कि नहीं बिकॉज सोशल मीडिया वाला प्यार अलग व्हाट्सएप वाला प्यार अलग एक आध बार डेटिंग पे जाने वाला प्यार अलग एंड रह के लाइफ गुजारने वाला प्यार अलग ब्रो यू हैव टू सी ना कि चल रही है तुम्हारी गाड़ी उसके साथ की नहीं तो आई थिंक इट्स इन टूडेज टाइम ऑनेस्टली इट्स बिकम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैव अ लिव इन रिलेशनशिप बिकॉज we have all evolved into such beautiful humans and we all have such amazing minds and opinions of our own ki tumhari jamti hai us bande ke sath chote chote opinions bhi matter karte hai aur rehne lago na kisi ke sath to asli dalate ka bhav samajhta hai so i feel like live in relationships are the way to go if you want to sustain for a longer time period even if you are in love with that person like reh ke dekh lo na ek baar ki kaisa lagta hai of course arrange marriage mein that is not an option Let's try pina colada. It's actually my least favorite ice like drink to have. I never order pina colada because I hate it. But I want to see how I like it in an ice cream. Hmm, I like it. It's like tropical. Okay, do you think the past matters in a relationship? I really want to say it doesn't because um like your past should not matter because jo ho chuka hai wo kuch saalo bahut saalo pehle bhi ho gaya hoga ya kuch saalo pehle and today you've evolved and become another person so it doesn't really matter but actually na kitna bhi bol lo वो हो जाते हैं लाइक आर्ग्यूमेंट्स अबाउट पास्ट एंड अबाउट व्हाट यू हैड एंड व्हाट यू वर एंड स्पेशली इफ यू आर स्टिल इन सिक्योर अबाउट योर पास्ट देन इट शोज इन योर रिलेशनशिप सो इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू मेक पीस विथ योर पास्ट एंड योर गुड ऑन योर बुक्स के हाँ दिस वाज माय पास्ट आई एम अ कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट पर्सन नाउ टूडे आई एम नॉट दैट पर्सन आई हैव इवॉल्व एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट एक बार वो हो गया तुम्हारे जहन में ना तो वॉट एवर द काउंटर पार्ट इज टेलिंग यू वॉट एवर योर पार्टनर इज टेलिंग यू यू विल बी कॉन्फिडेंट टू हैव योर आर्ग्यूमेंट दैट टूडे आई एम नॉट दिस पर्सन टूडे आई एम कॉन्फिडेंट दैट आई एम नॉट दैट सेम पर्सन हाउ टू सर्वाइव योर डिस्टेंस इन अ लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस रिलेशनशिप हाउ टू कीप अ गुड मेंटल हेल्थ वेन यू नो यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू मीट द गाय फॉर अ रियली लॉन्ग टाइम एंड यू आर हर्टिंग दिस इज द रीजन आई ब्रोक अप माई लव आई विश आई हैड समथिंग टू टेल यू long distance is really really tough it's a lot of maintenance it's like constant communication constant communication and can be very exhausting because you are in a new country if you are and you're trying to survive there make new friends there try to make a life there if you are in your own country and if you're there as well you want to keep your existing relationships alive with your family and your friends and you can't always keep communicating with a person who's so far away uh but that's how you keep the relationship alive so you keep having these arguments and it's hurtful and it hurts like a, it hurts a lot 
long distance is tough kudos to everyone who's managing it kudos to i have heard so many beautiful stories about long distance working out that when mind and workout i was so upset ki i wish i could have made it work but i couldn't what will i choose between loving nature and good looks of course loving nature bro good looks na bahut temporary hote hain i never see looks in a guy honestly aisa lagega ki i'm lying but i really am not like even if i'm on a dating app na i like swipe through the photo and i will see how they've written their bio like have they taken too much interest what are the questions they've answered like i'm more into the bio part of it and i try to read that person from that than the looks because looks are so temporary wo aaj jaisa dikh raha hai wo kal waisa nahi dikhega same jo main aaj dikh rahi hu main kal nahi dikhungi but jaisi main in andar se aaj hu i will remain that way only so the nature of the person the personality is everything and another thing physically that attracts me is voice like good voice sometimes i look at a person and i'm when i'm going on these dates like or online app wale dates i'm only hoping ke mu khole tabhi waisa hi lage <laughs> what is the one thing that you find catchy in any guy the very first thing that impresses you the voice the voice the way they say hello nice rich voice <laughs> everything to me if you get to know your ex is dating your best friend what would be your reaction i would just wish my best friend luck like all the best bro mujhse nahi ho paya tujhse ho raha hai to kar lo matlab honestly my best friend wouldn't do it only because all the shit about my ex has spoken to my best friend so she knows too much to go into that kind of well again will you ever cross your line for just pleasing your boyfriend and when your inner self doesn't allow you the same never never take it from me don't do it don't no person is worth it you guys agar tumhara like if you're not completely 100% into accepting what you're going to do no matter in what context this is with another person be it a boy be it a girl in a relationship don't do it because that person people are temporary in your life i hope you realize that that today the people in your life might not be the same people in your life 10 years down the line right everybody in your life is temporary you're growing and evolving later on you will regret it because you were not 100% into it that time so don't cross lines that you are not confident about if you're confident and you've reached there ki ha theek hai i'm ready to take this step with this person then do it only listen to your heart if even 1% of your heart says i'm not sure about this don't go ahead and do it <laughs> somebody asked Are you a passionate lover like an Aquarius? I would like to think I am. Okay, quite passionate in my dealings. <laughs> What kind of partner you will date, and do you want a commitment or a casual dating? So there's a phase for everything, right? I was in a committed relationship sort of phase. Now I think I'm not. I'm either in a single phase or I'm in a casual. I will meet you and chill with you and like not commit to you type of phase. So yeah. I think there's a phase for everything. Now I feel like I don't have the time to commit to a relationship because a relationship is very draining and very exhausting mentally. It takes up a lot of your time and energy and right now I really know that I don't have that kind of energy time to give anyone but I've not closed my doors. Like I'm not like bilkul kuch nahi karna hai and you know koi aane hi nahi dengi life mein aise nahi chalti. I feel like you should always encourage whatever is happening and then you never know na which um, casual relationship might become your full term one because that's how you get to know a person so yeah that's the kind of vibe i am in currently <laughs> somebody asked me how has the online dating experience been i don't know if i mentioned it somewhere but yeah yeah i think in the megna collab i did mention that i swipe a lot on bumble and yeah i think so far it's been good i was in the lockdown <laughs> my bumble experience has been quite good actually because usse pehle my experience with online dating has always been shit and i've never met a good person in fact i should never go on dates only i should swipe and then uninstall the app the very next day have you ever had a crush on like an older person i only have crushes on older men i don't like men my age or men younger to me never never dated or been in a relationship my age or younger because i feel like men are they take some time to mature and i am way too mature for my age so i prefer men who are like at least 2 to 3 years older to me what are the qualities that you look for in a partner for me i think it's very important that the partner is trustworthy like for me trust issues are big time i am very difficult to like put my guards down and trust that person wholly solely with my everything so if i feel he's loyal and trustworthy that's everything and for a responsibility taker bhi hona chahiye like i can take responsibilities and i'm very good at that so i don't need you to take 100% responsibility for me 
or for anything at all in fact i can handle everything but at least be responsible for your own actions you know i don't i don't like this very dheela type of boys who are like hmm ha maine ye bhi kiya maine wo bhi kiya like you know वैसे like be sure like for me that is the sexiest thing in the world if you're sure of something if you are that like sure of me of this relationship of what you're doing even if you have some moments and phases that's okay but in general that personality and vibe should be ki ha i know i know this is i'm sure of this like that kind of thing really is attractive to me too too full at this point and it's like sugar rush and brain freeze ho raha hai mujhe ye pina kolada was so yummy situation that is personal to you but they don't support your decision on the matter this can be very difficult because personal matters can get really tough and really tricky uh if they don't support your decision but if you're sure of your decision stay stay put on that and don't take their input i know they are your partner but they are also human at the end of the day you know human opinions can differ so just don't take their opinion on that go head strong with what you know and what you feel and roll with that do you think you'd fight for your partner if your parents don't agree to your relationship for a situation that is personal to you but they don't support your decision on that matter Yes I would I would if I'm very sure of my partner not go against them I would like try to explain to them really hard like really try to get my way with them like I know parents are the toughest nuts to crack when it comes to relationships I think especially in the Indian society we are all about relationships and parents about the relationships but I think eventually everyone comes around everybody's parents we are all humans we are all humans okay they are humans they make mistakes we are humans we make mistakes we are all humans how to keep this spark alive after years love you i have not been yaar saalo saal relationship mein kya i know how to keep this spark alive but i guess keep trying new things and i don't just mean in bed but try new things like you know go on these first dates or just go on these anonymous dates where you don't know that person or you know change names and sort of like a role play situation where you just go on this date you don't know that person which show is this from let me flip i can't remember which show is this from how i met your uh, no not how i met your mother modern family like you know in modern family every valentines uh, that that main couple who has those three kids shit i'm so bad with names i can't remember they do this every valentines where they they have these alter egos and they go on dates with them so what's your story miss america pageant in town ah oh, you're a pretty smooth talker clive i'm pretty smooth all over and i think that's such a cool thing to do because you're married for so many years your spark has died but every valentines they become their alter egos and they go on this date with their alter egos and it's so fun and i think that's something i would love to try if i've been in a long relationship and i feel like it's dying out so that's how i think i would try to keep the spark alive is it okay partner doesn't celebrate any special things like her birthday anniversary is it toxic or normal i honestly feel it's normal because उसकी अपब्रिंगिंग कैसी है ना उस पर डिपेंड होता है लाइक इफ हिज फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स हैव नेवर रियली मेड बर्थडेज एंड एनिवर्सरी इज अ बिग थिंग देन फॉर हिम इट्स वेरी नॉर्मल टू नॉट मेक इट फॉर यू ऑल्सो आई नो इट माइट हर्ट बिकॉज इट्स वेरी ह्यूमन टू फील हर्ट एंड सैड इफ योर पार्टनर इज नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग फॉर योर बर्थडे और एनिवर्सरी बिकॉज आई रिमेंबर वेन आई हैड माई फर्स्ट बर्थडे आफ्टर डेटिंग माई पार्टनर वॉज नॉट हियर विथ मी इट वॉज अ लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस एंड आई एज फीलिंग वेरी सैड एंड इवन दो हीज अ नॉन एक्सप्रेसिव काइंड ही स्टिल सेंड मी केक एंड फ्लावर्स एंड दैट melted my heart because such a small gesture was only everything coming from him because i know ki ye banda kuch nahi karega but phir bhi usne itna bhi kiya na that i was like <laughs> so that small thing also should count with such a person it's always about the person have you ever proposed to a guy like you genuinely loved and you made the first move and confessed your feelings yes i did that one relationship i've been in i was the one who went out and told him that i feel strongly for you and i think i love you and that's when he felt that oh he loved me too aisa tha like you know like he knew he had those feelings and i also knew ki if i would tell him it would go in that direction that is the reason why i went ahead and proposed like for me i think it's very cool no very cool as in very chill ke theek hai koi bhi propose kar lo but kar lo like agar if you're feeling that way and you've not said it because oh you're a girl you should not aise sab mein mat padho time nikal jayega banda nikal jayega haath se wapas nahi aayega matlab if you want to and if you feel strongly about it and jaldi se jaldi kya hoga yaar na bolega you will cry one two days and move on and you'll find somebody better 
I think when it comes to relationship, this is all the questions I'm going to take. There are so many more questions and even kinkier questions. A lot of y'all have actually revealed your kinkier deep secrets because I think that's a trend that is going on where YouTubers talk about subscribers a deep dark secrets. Let me know if y'all want me to do something like that. We could have an anonymous slightly 18 plus sort of conversation on that. I hope you guys enjoy this super fun, chill uh, Valentine's talking about relationships with y'all. I had a real good time. Y'all are like my forever Valentine's. Y'all are the people I can count on no matter what. I love you guys so much. If you did like today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I hope you had a great Valentine's week and have a great Valentine's day. And even if you didn't, just remember it's another day in the calendar and move on. Bye guys. Love you. Mwah.